question mark? <laughs> um, should be. Hope so. Yeah, we're live. <laughs> we're live. Okay, okay. <sighs> Don't worry about it. All right. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. Hopefully you have been enjoying the event. Um, good morning once again to everybody. <laughs> it's quite early. Um, but I have a fun little game for you guys. I am running Ancient Roman Power of Dark Side. It is a PlayStation 1 game ran on a PS2. As you can tell by the lovely intro music, there is no intro music. Um, I will point out I am extending the cutscene incentive to the end of disc one, so you got about an hour to make those cutscenes instead of met. The cutscenes are special, they are treasurable, they, I, I, yes, treasurable is a word. They're glorious. Let's just, let's just leave it at that. Um, so right now, the goal has not been met, if I remember correct. Not yet, we are 65, or 65, uh, let me double check that. Okay. $65 short. $65 um, short. I think it's doable. Oh my goodness. It's definitely doable by the end of disc one, which, um, which is one hour into the run. Well, you know, recall. yeah, well, you know what, I can show a little bit of a sample what you guys are missing until you get that cutscene and set to med. So let's, let's start the run, shall we? Um, so as usual, um, before I forget, this game is in Japanese. Um, there's no English patch. Um, I have a just idea what's happening. My Japanese is kind of not, like, very rusty, uh almost like kindergartner level, but I, I got through this game playing it casually. Um, also, you're going to hear my cats. They're being dicks right now. Um, but anyway, let's get this run started. So, three, two, one, go. So, a little, little sample of what you guys are missing. Auto-tune the cats? No, no, no. Alright, it seems like... Alright, that's all you get. <laughs> that's a sample! Anyway, we're gonna name the character. Yeah, that's a sample. That's all you guys get. Ten dollars, guys. Ten dollars for the rest. <laughs> So, anywho. Well, $10 so far, 65 for the rest. True. Alright, so yes, our, our main character's name's Ka, because I can. Uh, so you woke up from a nightmare. This old man's kind of like, what's wrong? Did you wake up from a nightmare? I think. Um, he mentions that the boss wants to see us. Um, see everybody about meeting. We're currently um, working at a mining camp. Um just mining for this evil dude typical rpg shenanigans so we're gonna talk to everybody here and then the boss is gonna show up the, his name is the boss uh he told us that we are taking the day off we do not need to work today and everyone's kind of concerned because this is our first holiday in ever um i think so there is music in the game is it too quiet is it too loud if it is too quiet, I will try to boost it up. Um, it is kind of a somber song right now. You don't hear the music. Oh my goodness. Give me a second. You can barely hear it. Let me see what I can do here. How about now? How about now? Can you hear it now? My weakness is audio. <laughs> So right here we're talking to the, the the boss and the main antagonist are talking right now. They're saying they found an item. You know, we're done here. We don't need the people. Just kind of get rid of them. And we're, we're going to tell that to the elder and the people. Because, well, we don't want to die. 
So we're gonna let the elder know, and he's gonna mention that we we need to st we we should we should live. <clears throat> and we're agreeing. We're we're basically gonna try to stop. Um, words of English. Sorry, it's early in the morning. <laughs> or we're basically gonna riot. I let's let's put it that way. We're gonna riot. So this gentleman with the giant dumpling irons, Baku, he is going to grab some stuff he has been smuggling. Forks, knives, garbage can lid, give it to us. So we can fight. And then this lovely girl named Yashira shows up and she wants to join the fight. And we're like, no. And then she's like, shut up, I'm joining. And we're like, okay. Um, so yeah, she's going to join our party. And we have essentially our three main characters for the beginning of the game. And, well... I think we started a riot, but anywho, let's go up here. We're, we're gonna enter this building, if I can. There we go. And we're gonna talk to this lady twice. She's gonna give us some extra gear and also an item to sell later on. Um, now we're gonna equip our characters. So, uh, you only need that. You need that, that, that. All right, and now we're gonna leave. Alright, so if you're, if you're excited about the animation fights, wait till we get into the actual combat. Oh, speaking of combat, we're just gonna run away from this. This is kind of rare, getting combat this early before the first boss fight. That's okay. We're just gonna deal with it. There we go. Alright, and then we're gonna do a quick heal, because that doesn't happen at all. Um, and now we're gonna go, go fight the boss. So, we're gonna fight the boss. His name is the boss. Um, so, we don't have to defeat this boss. We just need to attack. And that's it. If everything goes smooth. Yeah, no strategy this game to this fight. It's just attack for a win. So if you're wondering if there's a little bit of lag happening when they attack, uh, that's actually the game. It's kind of deciding uh, damage rolls, I'm assuming. But anyway, we gotta level up. So we defeated the boss. We have saved the people. Oh my goodness, everyone is saved. As usual, though, but what cost? At what cost in a generic RPG? What? What cost? Okay, we're gonna skip this cutscene. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so, unfortunately, Grandpa kicked the bucket, so we buried him. We did our best, okay? We buried him. Um, he told us that we need to go to the castle um, to go speak to the people running it. Um, and also try to find Kai's mom, I think. Um, so that's done. So now we're gonna run in the forest. Speaking of which, we're gonna do a quick heal. <laughs> yeah, the game's magical. The cutscenes just make it complete. It's the cutscenes are glorious. They are far better than Final Fantasy VII's cutscenes. I'm gonna rally for that. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna run away from this. Um, you'll see some of the combat that I will be facing. Any enemies that are three or more, I want to avoid because they're... It's a little bit of an... You know... It's not a fun fight. Do you need Posma to voice act the cutscenes? Ah, uh, nope. <laughs> uh, why, not, why no Tecmo? Because I've been working on this for a while. Um, and I need to go back to that one, but we'll, we'll do that later. But right now we gotta go through a forest. Alright, I'm gonna run away from this.
Oh, the combat sounds glorious. I mean, we haven't counted the best track yet. You're, well, it's coming up. It's the next track. Or the next area. So we got through the forest. And... We're at this barricade, or barracks, and it, it seemed better days. Um, it's, it's pretty broken down. We're wondering what happened here, and we're going to go investigate. Um, so we're going to go in here. And we're going to go enter this little castle here, building, dimensional cube. And we're going to investigate this body. Uh, so we're going to find out that uh, it must have got attacked. They're, the people are, well, a little dead, maybe dying. Um, so figuring that out, we're going to get out of here. And we're just going to go to this door. Also, listen to the song. Hopefully the audio is appropriate. If it's not loud enough, I can crank up the music. So this door is unlocked. Baku's going to ram into it. He's going to Kool-Aid man it. Music's still quiet. Oh my goodness. I will try to fix that. Anywho, next town. <clears throat> So, we're at the next town. It's deserted. There's no one here. We're wondering why. It's unknown. Still pretty quiet. Okay. Huh. I think I have an idea of what's happening. Um, give me a second here. So let me run into this place. So we're gonna, we need to investigate this place. So we're gonna go into here. Um, okay, that's closed. Let's do... Hmm. Oddish. Oddish, oddish, oddish. Give me a second, guys. So, nightfall comes. We're gonna run to the inn, because we need to stay, because in the whole five minutes we are in there, it went to nightfall. Alright, I think I have an idea. I'm just gonna do one thing here. While this dialogue is going, basically they need someone to stand guard, so we're gonna rock, paper, scissor it to see who wins. Baku loses, so he's gonna have to stay up for the night. Uh, let's go this, this. Huh. Excuse me while I fight with audio while we're doing this. Good times, good times. So this guy has randomly popped in. He is a human being turning into a monster. He's explaining that the townsfolk in this place are now monsters. There is a disease going around, transforming humans into monsters, and apparently there is a gentleman that can is looking for a cure. We need to go find him. Um, we're asking if you know this gentleman can be saved. He's like, no, it's too late for me. Kind of a tragedy. It's kind of sad. Um, so I'm still fighting with the audio. I'm gonna try one thing here. I'm gonna apologize for people's ears. Oh, and he also disappeared. Disappeared, as in he jumped out of the window. <laughs> Let's do this. Still no audio. Oh my goodness, this, this lovely game is having problems. All right, so we're gonna head out of here. We're done here for now. Um, how else could I fix the audio? All right, well, with that out of the way, we're gonna head to the second town. Um, oh. I 
think I fixed the audio. Let me see here. I'm still going to fight with it. Oh yeah, the, there's a 2D sprite. They spent the entire budget on that single sprite. So in this town, I just need to go into the captain's quarters here and talk to the general here. His name is, I believe, Marcello, Mercutio, whatever you want to choose out of those two. Um, <clears throat> so we're just going to tell him that the barracks has been unfortunately demolished. And he's going to send a guard to sort of patrol and, you know, thank you for letting us know. Um, can you guys hear the audio? You should be hearing a little, like, relaxing elevator music sound. Alright, so we're gonna get out of here. Audio's good! Okay. Oh my goodness, we have audio. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna get out of here. I have another way I think I can increase it. It requires a little more hand-eye coordination. Anyway, we're done here. No, this was Japan only. Um, yeah, this game never came out to the States. I, I don't, I, this is such a treasure. I don't know why they didn't want to bring it to the US. Like, come on. <laughs> so we're at a town called the Hot Springs Town. Word has it that the guy who was looking Making the cure for that disease is here, so we're gonna go to the doctor's office. Uh, we're gonna talk to him. I like to call him Bobblehead Doctor because he's he's boblin, so much so that Mashira is also doing the boblin. Uh, so basically, he's telling us that the guy is here, but he's fatally injured. He got attacked by a bunch of monsters. So we need to go find a get. We need to get some medicine for the doctor. Um. So before we do that, we're gonna go run to um, a specific area to get a piece of armor. Um. This is actually really good armor. It's it's hard to not pass uh, resist English in the morning. It's hard to say things in the morning. Anywho, we gotta run through here. The enemies are a little bit higher level. We're just going to run away from them. I think I may have accidentally hit attack. We'll find out the hard way. Yep, I did. Well, Baku's gonna stay and flex those muscles, and I'm just gonna be like, no, it's time to run away. There we go, Baku survived. Everything's fine. Alright. So we're gonna pass by this girl. She's important, but just not right now. But you can say hi to her. You know, we'll see you later on. Um, so let's run and grab this treasure chest. Now, I mean, try to. Alright, so run away from you. I think I hit attack again. Oh my goodness, Paul. It's fine. It's totally fine. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna grab this lovely piece of armor and we're gonna give it to Baku. Now if he knows Baku's defense is 14, we're gonna give it to him and it bumps it up to 33. He's basically good to the end of disc one. Ah uh, yes, this is a two disc game by the by. Um, so we're done here, we're gonna run away. We're gonna say hi to this lovely girl again. Hi bye. <laughs> and we're gonna go get that medication for the doctor as soon as we can deal with this counter. Yep, two whole discs! Oh, you just wait till we get that disc change. It is a special event. So now we're going to go into this building and talk to the shopkeeper, and he's going to give us the medicine that we need. Look at that NPC in his soulless eyes. Oh my goodness, he is, he is such a lively NPC, man. 
so lively. <laughs> but anywho. So we're gonna go talk to the doctor now. And we're gonna give him the medicine. He's like, perfect, thank you. And just, you know, waddles away. <laughs> Did this game ever get a US release? No. No. <laughs> so the doctor is gonna say that, you know, he gave the medicine to the guy, go stay at the inn, and then come back tomorrow to talk to him. So we're, we're gonna do that. Um, this is a hot springs town, uh, a place where I, I like to call it the hot springs town, because in the town there's a hot springs. Uh, there's a little side, you know, scene you can watch if you go to the hot springs and then to the inn. We don't have time for that. So we're gonna go take a sleep. We're gonna take a snooze. Is there ankles? Uh, of course it's ankles. I think that, that that's all they can afford to animate if they have in the hot springs is ankle. <laughs> anyway, this next day, we're gonna head to the doctor and we're gonna talk to the gentleman. So, as soon as I can get in the door, there we go. <laughs> We're gonna talk to him, and he, he's alive, but he's he's pretty much injured. He meant he's gonna bring up, you know, he was trying to find a cure. He he's still finding it. <laughs> I mean, when you're on a tight budget for this game, you gotta you gotta pick a certain area to animate. Like I mean, we could have got Baku's dumpling arm just sticking out of the hot springs. That would have worked. Look at those arms. Look at those dumpling arms. They are very dumpling-like. But we talked to him. Um, he's gonna mention that Kai looks familiar, like the pendant. I'm, th I think. I don't know more banter. For all I know, they could be talking about breakfast sandwiches and omelets and tacos. For all I know, I don't think they are. But yeah. Um, if you've noticed, disc one so far, it's kind of plot dump. Let's just say that. There's not a lot happening in disc one in regards to fighting monsters, uh, boss fights. It's a lot of let's get the entire story panned out and then we'll worry about the rest in disc two. So we're going to the next town. And once again, more plot. All the plots. So apparently, from what I've read online, um, the reason we're going to this town is because Mishira has family here. And it's basically talking to this town's folks and getting to meet the people and all that jazz. So from what I understand, this is... A Someone related to Mashira, it's her aunt, I think, question mark. Um, and just more plot, all the plots. Oh, they're talking about Roman stuff. Oh my goodness, that totally makes sense. Okay. Although I should ask, has there been any, has the incentive been made for the cutscenes yet? It's, we, got, we got a cutscene coming up, so I, I'm kind of curious. Not yet. Not yet. Given that, given that, given that first, uh, given that first cutscene, I, I really want it to be. So oh my goodness, guys. Donate. The next cutscene <laughs> has a pixie in it. Come on, guys. Oh, I love pixies. Oh, this pixie's special. <laughs> All pixies are special. I, it's Farah. I, I mean, yes. 
But anyway, we're going to talk to the mayor, and the mayor is going to be like, Mayor bullshit, mayor bullshit, all the mayor bullshit, vote for me, mayor bullshit, I think. Maybe. Uh, language. <laughs> Alright, so I need to go buy some items here. Uh, more importantly, a sleep spell, and I need to buy a weapon for Baku. Um, so as soon as we're done with more... Jibber jibber. Um, we'll, we'll get that rolling. Which I should mention characters. So Kai is our main character, your typical generic main character. Baku is our... <laughs> he's a side character, but he is the true MVP of the speedrun. Um, I'll explain that later. He's all muscle. Uh, he's not supposed to know magic, but all muscle. And Mashira is your generic healer character. Um, yeah. Once we get Farah the pixie, she's out of our party. And then we never use her. She's just in the background healing our characters throughout the rest of the run. But, we're gonna go buy that weapon. Um, so let's go sell something first. So let's sell all this stuff and this. Alright, and then we're going to buy... This. And then we're gonna go buy a sleep spell. <laughs> yeah, he's got blue hair. It definitely makes him the protagonist. Oh my goodness, scale the way, NPC. Alright, and then we're gonna buy sleep. Now, I'm gonna take some time here. For those people who know Japanese, some of the spells are interesting. Also, I don't have enough money. Let me see what I can do here. Oh, Kichi. Oh, 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 Kichi. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, Hekka. Pickles. I missed an item. Alright, we will work with this. I will have to come back. But for now, we're gonna equip Baku with his weapon. Actually, I could sell that. Will it give me enough? I... Actually, no, it won't. But... No, it doesn't. <laughs> we'll come back here. I'll get the sleep spell. I must have missed an item that I needed to pick up. But anywho. We're going to complete this area, we're going to continue, because later on in the game, uh, the game does give you money to purchase stuff, so we're going to take advantage of that. So, we're going to continue onward and upwards. Um, we're going to go across the cement lake here, and we're going to go to this house. Um, I'm thinking what's happening here in this lovely story plot here is that the gentleman in the house has contracted that monster disease and is slowly turning into a monster I think or maybe he ate a bad taco and got you know nausea indigestion upset stomach diarrhea and you know upset because we ran out Pepto-Bismol maybe Enough that Kai is completely upset, and we need to be dramatic, because Kai is going to be dramatic, and Baku's going to try to knock some sense into us, and the only way he knows is to um, ram himself into a character. Baku doesn't hug, he just, you know, pushes people. He Kool-Aid mans them. Um, anywho, so we're going to go to the inn. And we're gonna go sleep. And we're done here. <laughs> oh, he does it a lot. Baku, that's all what Baku knows is the arm waggle thingy. That's all he does. That is his number one thing. And Kool Aid Manning. Objects. Alright, so we got directions of how to get to the castle. Um, so yeah, we're finally gonna head to the castle. But, but, we're, we're lost. We're lost. It took us five minutes and we're already lost. Jeez. And we're gonna play the blame game here, and they're just gonna blame one another, the usual 
but Pharaoh's gonna show up, and I'm gonna say we. I'm gonna guess we're skipping the cutscene, so I'm sorry, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a good cutscene, guys. Oh my goodness. Uh. Yeah, not yet, but we do, uh, we are getting closer. Cyborg Grandpa just donated $5 saying we need cutscenes, so that does bring us closer to cutscenes. Oh my goodness. We're not quite there yet. We're so close, guys. We're so close. <laughs> but anyway, let's go to the castle. So, we need to go see, um,. Someone. I don't know what role the two play, because uh, currently there is no king and queen running the castle. So I'm assuming maybe the secretary, maybe the treasurer, maybe the chef. The chef is running the castle. That sounds amazing. Um, but they won't let us pass. Um, because, you know, they just won't let us. The guards are jerks. So we're going to leave. And we're, we're gonna go investigate something. Ignore those jerk birds, because they're jerks. <laughs> you shall not pass, indeed. And we're gonna investigate this sign here. And the sign mentions, in a quinky-dink matter, that, you know, there's a tournament tomorrow. What a quinky-dink. Hosted at the castle. What a quinky-dink. So we're gonna participate in that. Um... So soon, there we go. So now I'm gonna run all the way to the right here, open the door, and we're gonna talk to this gentleman. Um, I'm t I'd like to point out, but there's a picture of carrots in the background. They're framed. I don't know why there's a picture of carrots. There it is. Um, there's some weird pictures in this game as well. Like there's, in one of the item shops, there's a picture of um. An actual um, woman, and I'm pretty confident it's one of the voice actresses. Is it yams? I carrots, yams. They they all kind of look the same. Is it yams? Oh my goodness! It's possibly yams. <laughs> all right, so we got the tournament, and Bach, who's gonna go first? And, of course, this is actually a Red Rover tournament, so Bok is just going to run into that guy, and obviously he's, he's going to win. So, you know, Bok who won, because he's a professional at, you know, Red Rover, Kool-Aid man skills, all that jazz. So, it's, it's Kai's turn next. He's gonna try to win the Red Rover tournament, tournament, or as Wizard pointed out, professional body slammer. It's the body slammer tournament, and of course, Kai's a wimp. He lost. <sighs> but we're gonna skip this cutscene. Oh my goodness, cutscene! So Kai's pendant fell off during that, and one of the one of the people running the castle took the pendant and. Ran away with it, the jerk. And Ferris is gonna report that. Um, but fortunately, we can't. We didn't win. We can't advance further. So we're we're done. We wasted our time. <laughs> and we're just we're just gonna leave the castle because this place was a huge disappointment. We even participated in a tournament and we got nothing. We didn't get a T-shirt. No coupon. Oh, but wait. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, a guard that can't walk is running towards us, and he's gonna grab Kai, because, you know, the pendant is Kai's, and we're gonna try to walk. It's it's not working well. And, of course, in the typical generic RPG shenanigans, Surprise, guys. Kai's a prince. <laughs> the pendant is his mom's. And of course, his mom got kidnapped ages ago. 
And, well, surprise, surprise, Kai's a prince. What, what a quinky dink. Oh my goodness. Um, so they're just gonna interrogate him. They're just gonna be like, where's your mom? Who are you? You look familiar. All that shenanigans. And we're gonna go to the extreme, even. I say this. Just a long pause because he's also gonna invade personal space like this is how this is how intense this interrogation is is he's invading personal space oh so a lot more bantering they're gonna mention like he's a prince he's gotta go through a trial though and he's gotta go see the monks of the monastery and you know he's got a kingdom to run because his you know the queen and king are somewhere who knows? So he's got a kingdom to run. In the first five minutes, you know. Discovering he's a prince, he also has to run a castle. And of course, Farrah shows up because she likes to eavesdrop and let everybody know. And now the party's worried because they're going to lose Kai. Because he's no longer can he no longer can join us on this adventure. Because he's got a castle to run. And we're going to skip this cutscene. Ferris kind of a creeper. Um, but she went in Kai's room to find out if he's continuing on with the venture, and he is. And she's like, oh my goodness, yes, I need to tell everybody. Yay. Man, that's basically the cutscene. Um, so, yeah, we're going to continue our adventure. These guys are like, drat, we have to run the castle still. They're not a fan of it. They are really hoping Kai would have stayed. And, you know, ran the castle so they could, they could go do whatever they wanted to. Plot a conspiracy. You know, have a vacation, maybe. I don't know. I think this is all what's happening. For all I know, they could be talking about pancakes right now. And waffles. <laughs> oh yeah, they could practice Red Rover. It's, yeah, oh my goodness. They need to build an army of... Soldiers that know how to Red Rover because that's how they win wars is Red Rover All right, so we're done here. Let's get out of here All right, so we're gonna go back to our party we're gonna go try to find Kai's mom also save the people who are turning into monsters we're gonna save the world. Of course, Kai forgot to grab something. So, you know, we gotta go back in there. I'm assuming Kai forgot his keys, his wallet. But anyway, we're gonna talk to this gentleman just to advance the plot. And we're gonna talk to this guy because he's gonna give us a lot of money. He gave us 3,000 game. And yes, the currency is game or game, however you wanna choose. And yeah, now we're going to continue our adventure. Now, there's two items I need to pick up in this um, town before we depart. Um, I need to pick up two spells. Uh, yes, the game does give you free spells, which is amazing. Um, so, let's go through this jibber 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 man now I kind of want waffles I sorry early in the morning my mind is starting to think food all right so we're gonna talk to this black rooster yes we're gonna talk to him he actually talks to you um, so we're, by talking about five or six times here he's gonna give us a spell and I'll explain the spell in a second um, now we're gonna go into a shop. We're gonna go into the shop right here. And, you know... Oh, there's, there's, a, there's a dude. And I don't he, I don't think he's supposed to be in here. I'm not sure. Because he gives us an item and then he leaves. So I kind of feel like this shop, he's like, oh, oh, I'm not supposed to be here. Here, here's this item. Don't mention it. And then just leaves. I think that's what happened. So I picked up a Thunder level 2 spell, and I picked up from the rooster 
uh, a phoenix spell. Um, now before I forget, I know which item I missed, so I'm gonna do a quick detour to grab that item. Um, cause that single item gives me a thousand game, and the money right now is needed. Um, I did remember which item. So, we're gonna pick up this item. And then we're gonna leave. Um, so the Phoenix spell is a high tier healing spell that heals the entire party for 300 HP and resurrects your party. It's the only resurrection spell in the game. Um, but anywho, let's go back here. Because I need to go pick up that sleep spell. I actually do have a waffle press, but I don't have the components to make waffles. We're currently in the process of like bringing all of our stuff from a move to the house. Uh, I need to go in here. So. Let me sell. Yeah, the coom. The bear. Let me sell the bear. And. Buy that spell. And we have our sleep spell. Alright, so we're done here. We can get out of here. So the Slate spell is... Uh, it's amazing. Um, so in this game, there are status effects. So it's not a whole lot. There's Sleep, there's Charm, and there's Petrify. Um, <clears throat> so... The game... Oh, before I forget. We gotta rearrange that party because we're done with Mishira. The game doesn't tell you when status, status effects happen. Um, you see the animation, there's a flashing red, red light, and that's it. The game does not mention whether or not the spell has taken effect or not. So you're really hoping that the spell worked. Alright, so I'm going to take this combat because we need experience. Um, now, since we have Farah, Farah is has really high agility, so she can outturn a lot of the enemies, and she also has a really high magic, so she's just going to annihilate, and thus giving us our experience. Yeah, Kai's Kai's animation is very um, impatient. He's an impatient guy. I mean, he's got to save the world. He knows, he knows saving the world requires a short amount of time. Venue, we're at the monastery. So we're gonna go talk to a monk. Although speaking of the game, comparing to Wild Arms, I should point out, and I haven't yet, this game came out after Final Fantasy VII, so keep that in mind. I, oh, I didn't know that cyborg. I will not judge. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, you could totally tell this game came out after Final Fantasy VII. Look at those... Oh wait, we don't have cutscenes. Look at the graphics. Look at the voice acting. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so we're gonna talk to the this... The leader... Of the monks? The head monk? And he's going to be like, well, okay, you're apparently the prince. You got to do these trials. Go to said island. Fight these people. And that's it. And we're like, okay. And we're going to leave. That's it. That's all you need to do so far. This part in the run is a little tricky. Um, you'll see as we go on, this is the hardest part in disc one. Um in terms of speedrunning. <laughs> oh yeah, I, oh, I'm i sorry, I didn't know they had $45. That really makes sense with this high quality game. Oh my goodness. Betty, let's go to the next area. And we just need to leave. That's it. Um, as soon as we're here, we leave and the next area opens up. So, let's go. 
Oh, this game is super charming. It's it's one of those games that it's so bad that it's it's good. Um, but we're at the Trial Island, so let's talk to the old man here. He's gonna tell us, you know, welcome to the Trial Island. Stay at the house behind me, and you know we'll get ready for your trial. And you know, breakfast time is is at this time, and recreational activities is maybe at this time. And don't be late, I think. Um, but anyway, let's get the first trial done. Um, so, the nice thing about this game is I can save at any point, so I'm gonna do a save. Um, uh, because this part, I need to get some, I need, yeah, English. I need to get some levels. Um, I wouldn't mind my characters to be at level 6, 7, give or take. So we need to fight some encounters. And hopefully, luck of the draw, I get something good. Uh, right now, this is not a good encounter. Um, the birds are jerks. Uh, we're kind of low level for a three encounter right now, so we're not going to fight this for obvious reasons. The grind shouldn't take too long. Um, I hope not. Basically, we're in the hands of the game and it deciding what um, encounters it gets. I'm not dead yet. The nice thing about this game is if one enemy, if one person runs away, um, I'm fine. And then the character, oh, there goes Pharaoh. <laughs> well, maybe it's not okay. We'll see. Oh, those, these evil enemies. Alright, we're gonna have to do backup. Uh, Kai, you're gonna be my spellcaster, so... So if you notice, Baku is taking, like, blood, like... Not a whole lot of damage. It's because of the armor we gave him much earlier in the game. It, it's, it's really powerful. Unfortunately, Farrah can't equip it, so... He's, he's kind of the only one that could be stuck with it. We could give it to Kai, but... We need, we need Baku... Alive, because he, he does a lot of damage, so... Alright. So that will help us with surviving. <laughs> Alright. So I'm definitely going to have to pick up some more maca fruit, unfortunately. Uh, maca fruit is our MP restoring item. Uh, and then you. Alright, I'm just going to do a spin to win. This is my spin to win. You can tell by the animation, he can definitely run in a circle. Um, this one we can take. Uh, birds are jerks, but the bird can't handle fire. Yeah, I did characters don't get experience, but at least two of the characters got experience, so they can take a hit or two. Stop picking up Farah. <laughs> uh, Yeah, we got a man, Baku. Baku is the MVP in the speedrun. You're, you'll find out why later. Alright, so we got more survivability. <laughs> Alright, so let's heal again. Also, this- I'm, not, I'm gonna do a little bit more- well, I want to say a little bit more, but this is also kind of a marathon safety strat too, because the next fight can be tricky. Um, no, I'm not gonna fight the fish. <laughs> what I will do though is after this fight save, and we'll try to get another encounter. Um, the next fight can I want to say destroy my run, but he can be problematic. So we're we're just gonna be safe. Alright, we're going to 
Just you, Kai. And do another spin. There we go. Ah, not the encounter I want. <laughs> Three the enemy count the three enemy encounters is nice, but my characters can't handle that. Um, and this game can sometimes be a sometimes he, it can be a jerk. Um, after this little segment, we we can we're we're English of English. Um, after the segment, the rest of the disc one is easy peasy. All right, this fight we can take. So, um, uh. all right. I would like to get Farrah to level six. So we need one more combat. Now let's hope I can get a. Um, three or less. We're, we're really aiming for three or less enemies. Okay, just heal you. Oh my god, ramen! Oh my goodness, I... Sorry, I just recently moved. So I am super excited to find, like, a ramen joint or something. Or, like, I'm so excited to try food in this, this new city I live in. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I, I oh <laughs> sorry I, I like to talk about food some days oh god no oh. why why game why why would you attack Farah shake my fist <laughs> I need Farah alive <laughs> uh, uh I'm a little hungry I mean I just woke up my current diet right now is coffee in the morning. Oh, food talk is amazing. All right, poor Farah. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate the levels of Baku because I Baku is gonna be in my our party, but oh, poor Farah. Poor, poor Farah. Yeah, I, I shouldn't complain. My husband finally brought the co like the the a coffee maker to our place, so I was actually able to have coffee. By not requiring me to boil water <laughs> um, first, and then you know, be primitive. <laughs> Everybody should play this masterpiece RPG. It is a is a true masterpiece. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. Um, I'm going to s give some maca fruit. We're going to try the boss. Um, and then... Okay, that I'm going to heal. And then we're going to save. I may have to pick up some extra maca fruit. I believe the vendor's down in front of the tower sell them. Um, usually I have a healthy stash of, you know, maca fruit, but this has been kind of a, tr I wouldn't say train wreck, but... <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if this maker's on a timer. I've never used this coffee maker. Um, it was one my husband brought from... one of the restaurants, but that's a ramble in itself. So for this fight, I need to cast Thunder level 2 twice and attack, and hopefully now I'm hoping he doesn't attack Kai. Okay, that's fine. This guy can one-hit kill Kai and um, Farah. Baku it takes two hits because of the armor. Um, so this fight is actually going pretty good. There we go. Um, this, this fight is scary. I'm never a fan of it, but hey, Farrah reached level 7. 
So we beat the guy. He's like, okay, you beat you defeat the first trial. I'm gonna give you the sword. Um, he gave us a sword called the Vampire Sword. Now every time uh, Kai attacks with it, it will restore his HP. Um, it's really good. Um, we use it again in disc two, um, much later on in the run for one particular boss fight. Uh, but right now we're going to go and make an emergency shopping stop and maybe pick up some more maca fruit. Because we got a couple... One, two, three, four. We got four... We got one more boss fight coming up. Three mini boss fights. And then another one. Um, oh, there we go. Uh, it's, no, I don't want to buy that many. Uh, five would be good. Hi, hi. Anywho. So let's talk to this old man. He's like, oh, you beat the first trial. Oh my goodness. No one's done that in, I don't know, 80 years. Maybe. So now we're going to take a s snooze. And we're going to go complete the next trial. This one is much easier compared to the first one. Um, this next guy, girl, guy, question mark. Um, I say that because it's really hard to distinguish enemy um, character design sometimes. Um, this one here, it's all magic. And so we just need to attack and then that's it. And maybe like thunder level two. I'm just gonna grab this for extra money. I don't know, Starman. I but well, there's an incentive to be made. I don't know if that sentence has been made. Um I believe we were still stuck at the sixty dollar mark. Is it made? Uh, let's do this one. Can you hear me now? <laughs> nope, I can hear you. Hi, 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 hi. Okay, I wasn't coming through for a bit there. Yep, the incentive has been made. We had a $10 donation from Sep that says, hope this helps. Oh, the um, goodies. Which, in the context of the time, I believe was meant to go to the cutscenes. And then we have a $50 donation from Hrid. Hey, thank you so much, Hrid. Uh, that just says cutscene hype. So yeah. Oh all my goodness. We can... So we got we got those cutscenes down. Uh, they are met. Oh my goodness, guys. Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna find an emote to show how I truly appreciate you guys. I just gotta go through emotes. I have so many emotes. Where is it? Where's my emotes? <laughs> I gotta do a fight. Give me a second. Uh, thunder level two, and we just attack. Ah, oh, there it is. All right, this is how excited I am, guys. Oh my goodness. There we go. Thank you guys so much. Oh, get your popcorn ready, guys. Get your popcorn ready. <laughs> it's a great emote. <laughs> why why not would I use that face? That face is glorious. That is like the pseudo mascot of ancient Roman power dark side. Not Kai, not Farah, not any of the future characters. That dude at the beginning cutscene is the mascot of ancient Roman. <laughs> Actually, speak of popcorn, is that popcorn? Because it's early in the morning. Get your waffles ready. Get your waffles with popcorn and maple syrup on it. I hope that's a combination. That actually sounds pretty tasty. When do we get the sequel? I there was never a sequel, unless there is. I haven't found it yet. I I found this because I dove into watching YouTube videos, and I found a YouTube video that showed it was a Japan a Japan YouTube video. Um, that was, you know, the wor top 10 worst PS1 games. Um, and this was on it. Oh my goodness, bagels! I haven't had a bagel in ages. Oh my goodness, bagel popcorn. That sounds amazing. Popcorn flavored bagel. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Annie, we're done with the island, so we're gonna get out of here. Now we need to head back to the monastery. Oh, is this my number one? Maybe. I don't know, I play a lot of questionable games. 
a lot of obscure games, so it's hard to choose. So we have to go to the monastery. And of course, surprise, surprise, the monks are dicks. Uh, I have to do another trial. I have to talk to this monk. The game won't let me advance until I talk to this monk. And this monk's gonna heal me for full HP and MP. Which sucks, because I just stayed at that house. So I wasted the each like the full heal. He won't allow me to heal again after that. Um so now we gotta go fight some monks. Uh, I think I'm good. Yeah, we're fine. So we're gonna go up here. And we're gonna fight our first set of monks. Now I always like to point this out. Um in one of the guides I kinda read by Google Translate. Um, the person playing this game made a note that majority of the monks have um, no shirts. And she kind of questioned, or the reviewer kind of questioned, what kind of monastery is this? Because the majority of them aren't wearing shirts, except like one or two. I did play Shadow Madness. I really enjoyed it. Oh my goodness. The sleepy burrito. Oh, that, that, oh my goodness, it's so... Yeah, I, I play Shadow Madness. The best $20 I spent... ever. <laughs> I mean, I've also spent... I've already, I've recently just, you know, spent $5 on Lunar Dragon Song, and that's the $5 that I have spent in a while. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the Sleepy Burrito, Heart 5, There Will Be Death, oh my god, except that ending. Except that ending of Shadow Madness. Don't get me started on that ending, oh my goodness. How to follow this wonderful run? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> no, because I like that retro store. There's like a retro store five minutes away from me. I need to cherish that retro store as much as I can. Because it's stupid close to my house. Anywho. So I'm going to... Yeah, I should give a... Oops, wrong button. Too high, too low. Alright, and we're gonna do another save, because this is the first wave of monks. I got to do another monk fight. This one is harder than the- oh, come on. This game is glorious. Even a casual playthrough. I could help with the casual playthrough. Get you through the game. Experience the game. You know. <laughs> Anyway, we got a second wave of monks. So this one, I need to put them to sleep. Um, so hopefully sleep works. Um, that, that's a question. <laughs> so this is our sleep spell. Hopefully it goes off. We'll find- nope. Okay, he's not asleep. The only way to tell when these characters are asleep is if they attack or if they don't. That's that's all that's all how that's how you know. So it looks like one out of three or two out of three will put to sleep. That's a really good number. Um so now I'm going to cast Thunder. <laughs> that was a fish? No, that was a sword. We threw a sword at him. Oh, we got some magic. So, I'm pretty confident Pharaoh's gonna get knocked out. Yep, bye bye. <laughs> so, at this point in the game, in regards to Pharaoh, I'm actually not worried about her anymore. Um, in regards to her gaining levels or, you know, surviving fights. Because, um, spoiler alert, uh, we lose her pretty quick in the party. She's a temporary character. I mean, I will admit, she is a really good character in this game. By this point in the run, um, she will she will basically um, learn the Phoenix spell. Um, I'm gonna save again, because we're dealing with the final monk here. All right, so. Now 
gonna face the final monk. Um, and then at this point, I really... Farah is gonna be in my party, but I don't really need her. Um, after this fight, Farah is just gonna be solo running the party, uh, because she's, her agility is so high, she can outturn a lot of the enemies, and thus I can escape from combat. So there we go. No, he really doesn't. So he's gonna tell us that, you know, congrats, we beat the trial, here's your t-shirt. And one of the soldiers is going to pop up and tell us that we're needed at the castle right away. Oh my goodness, we're needed right away, so we need to go right away. Um, so speaking of Farah, let me plunk her in there. I mean, they need to put the budget elsewhere. Like, you know, the, t the single 2D sprite on the world map was really important. So let's go down here. Alright, so to the tunnel, and we gotta go through the tunnel again. So we'll be going to the tunnel once more. Um, that'll be till later. But enjoy this tunnel. It's got tunnel vision. It's very, um... Trying to think of the words. I can't pun today, oh my goodness. <laughs> well, not yet. We'll wait till the morning or afternoon. I'm glad we met the cutscenes because we have a cutscene coming up pretty quick that is just. Oh, it's glorious. Uh, but anyway, we gotta go to the castle. We need to figure out what, what is this problem? What is happening? What kind of crisis? Is, is occurring right now. Yeah, I gotta have breakfast first. Gotta have my toast. Or waffles. Or pancakes. Or maybe all three. So. Let's run in here. And let's talk to these lovely people. So they're basically telling us that there is a rumor going around that the elves are causing the spread of the disease that the human turned to monster disease. That's the rumor going around. People are kind of, you know, getting a little bit confused, angry, and that because elves are being elves. So we need to go investigate it. So we're gonna leave the castle again. Ooh, pancakes on a bagel. That sounds interesting. Alright, so we're gonna listen on to this debate. I don't know what the debate is about. Maybe the gentleman won the lotto. Maybe they're talking about tacos. Maybe there was a disagreement. Like, which Final Fantasy is better? 8 or like, I don't know, 13. I say 8 is better. And the one person is going to be taken away. Uh, it's up to you which which he, which Final Fantasy was his least favorite. Yeah, green pants versus green sleeves. There we go. I like that. Anywho. So we're going to go over here. And we're going to talk to this lovely gentleman. And he's going to give us some money, and we're definitely going to take it and run away. And we're done here, so we're going to head to the next town. And... This town is very go talk to people, talk to particular people, and then advance the plot. So not a whole lot here. Um, these are just, just investigating more about elves. So I'm going to go into this building here, and I'm going to talk to the wizard. And I'm just going to point out the frog on the shelf. It's adorable. I don't know what they're talking about, but there's a frog on the shelf. He is super adorable. Very cute. And we're going to leave. 
and we're gonna talk to this gentleman here and we're gonna talk to another gentleman just down here he's just cutting wood minding his own business but we really need to talk to him uh, there we go so we're gonna talk to him we're just gonna get right in front of him too as he's cutting wood that's that's really safe that is very safe of us and we're gonna go all the way north And we're gonna go north again. Ignore these people now. We don't need to talk to them. And we're gonna examine this lovely uh, stone shrine thingy majiggy. I think it's a stone shrine. For all I know, it could be a fast food joint. And we're gonna talk to this girl, and she's gonna explain some plot. But the biggest thing she's gonna mention is Farah. Farah is the last pixie in the world. She is the last of her kind. Her kind has kind of got wiped out over the time and she is the last one. Keep that in mind guys, she is the last pixie to be around, to exist. Just just keep that in the back of your memory. Okay? Keep keep that keep that in your mind. Anyway, it's night time. Yeah, she, she dies quite a bit, that's okay, she'll get back up again. Because nothing's gonna keep her down. And we're gonna run to the bar here. Because um, we have one last person to talk to before we can advance the plot. So, we're gonna talk to this blue-haired guy who's moving his arms quite a bit. I, I don't know, he may be eating a lot of nachos right now. I mean, nachos are delicious. And, you know, I would, I would do the exact same thing. I would just move my arms profusely while I'm eating nachos, because no one can have my nachos. Anywho. Let's go here. <gasps> Don't flavor potato chips. Oh my goodness. Are you going to share? Alright, so I'm gonna open this chest. It's another maca fruit, which is always great. <laughs> and we're gonna run away from the birds. I'm glad you guys are getting hungry, because we might as well talk about food and all of his glory. So we're gonna go up here. And I'm gonna run all the way over here. Now, I think somewhere in that discussion, they also talked about how, you know, there's a tree we need to access to go to the elf village. I'm assuming that was brought up at some point. So, we're at the tree, and, you know, Farah and Baku are going to have a fight. Um, you know, the, the last last pixie is really pushing her luck here, because they're, they're going to bicker and fight, and maybe combat here. You know, yeah, they're fighting, I think. Um... So yeah. Anywho. We're in the tree. So we're gonna go approach the tree. Oh, there's the light. So we're gonna head towards the light. And as soon as we approach the light, oh we get combat. We don't we don't get what we need. We get actual combat. So Ferris is just gonna run away from this. And since we met the cutscene in Santa, of, oh my goodness, guys, I hope you're ready for cutscenes. Oh my goodness. So, oh my goodness, there's an elf. There's two elves. Oh, they don't like us showing up. Oh my goodness, I think we're gonna attack. Oh, they're gonna fight us. So, uh, Rip Farah. Not really Rip, Rip Farah. She was fairly injured. <laughs> so now we're at the Elven Village. Please don't vomit. I don't like this place. It's a circus. I don't know why they decide to make elves live in circuses.
Yeah, it's a, it's a circus snow globe. Don't, I don't know why. <laughs> oh, it is a nightmare. Oh my goodness. I, yeah, I don't, yeah, I, I don't understand their choice in designs, but it's, yeah. Anywho, so, Farrah is gonna be just chilling on this bed. Um, and hopefully, hopefully have a swift recovery. Hopefully. We really don't know what happens to her. She's kind of left on a cliffhanger, but that's okay. Unfortunately, um, she's no longer in our party. So I hopefully you guys enjoyed your time with Farah. Ben who? So we're gonna go up here. And we're gonna go talk to the elder. Uh, no, I'm not gonna spoil the plot. So we're gonna talk to the elder and we're gonna be like, there was a rumor that you were spreading that disease and the elder elf is like, what are you talking about? No, you guys are dumb. Um, so the rumor is false. They just wanted to be left alone, but there's a great evil that's causing problems and apparently they, they don't want to be a part of it. But Nina, the, the one that, you know, just slashed Farah is joining our party to help us. So we have a new party member. Her name is Mina. Um, she's kind of... I wouldn't say like Farah. She has a high magic, but her agility is kind of debatable. Um, but she will be one of our three main party members at a certain point. But anyway, I need to go into this particular weapon shop. This is a weapon shop here. I'm going to point that out. This is a weapon shop. We need to talk to this gentleman here. We need to talk to this gentleman again. <laughs> oh my goodness. There we go. Now, I need to pick up this particular weapon. It's an axe. I'm not going to say what type of axe, but we're going to give it to Baku. And while we're at it, we're going to quickly qu equip Mina here. There we go. She's good. And we're done here. We're gonna leave the Oven Village. We will not see this place ever again. Thank goodness. I don't want to come back to the circus. Also, don't mind the noise in the background. Um, like I said, we're, we're, we've just moved. We're bringing stuff still in. So we have a lot of boxes and unpacking. And that was my husband unpacking a box. But anywho, I'm rambling. So let's get out of here. Um, before I forget, let's just put Mina on the party. I'm also going to save, just safety. Because we got to be safe in a marathon. Alright, and then... I'm going to run away from this bird. Because it's a jerk. Now the nice thing about this game, if I choose to fight with just me in the party, I can do that. Um, any characters that aren't in the party still get experience. Um, so if I really wanted an extra money, per se, I can do that and still get some experience. Uh, is there any soft locks? No. Not to my knowledge. I mean, I haven't- knock on wood. I haven't dealt with that yet. Um, I haven't seen a soft lock. I hope there's no soft lock. Anywho, we're gonna head back to the castle. And we need to go talk to the cooks, I, the, the chefs of the castle who are running it right now. I, I think. I don't know what their role is. I'm like I said, I'm I think I've decided they're the cooks of the castle. And they're running the castle. So we need to go tell them that, you know, that rumor was a lie. But hey, Mina joined our party. Which is good. So just more plot advancement. And while this is happening, I'm gonna get early start here. I'm gonna get this two ready. 
because um, we have a little bit left and then we're bouncing to disc two. Um, we're gonna we'll get more into the budget later. Um, well, the, the idea of the budget. Benny, we're done here. We're gonna leave the castle now because advancing the plot. Um, so apparently there is another castle we need to investigate. Um, I, I think the rival country, I think. Um, something's weird is happening there, so we just need to go down there and see what's happening. Um, so that's the plan. We're gonna go do that. Like I said, this game, this part is very plot heavy. <coughs> All right, so now we're going to head all the way down here. And this town is suspiciously quiet. We don't know why. Um, but we're going to go to the bar. And, oh, this, there's Marcello, or Mercutio, or Macron, however you want to call him. And he's going to tell us that uh, there's a monster in this town, and it's kidnapped Serena, this girl, who has a role somewhere in the world. I don't know what, but she's important. And Marcello is just like, we need to go save her. And we're going to do that. Because, well, we're the heroes. So, let me rearrange our party so I can include Marcello, Mercutio... Macaron. Um, I'm also going to heal. And I'm also going to do a quick... Actually, no, we won't deal with equipment yet because I need to do a little bit more later on. Oh, my cats. Sorry, my cats have woken up too and they're being cats. Oh, she's just got to stay there. Uh, maybe. Um, so I'm gonna pick up this item. There's another chest I need to acquire. Oh, there we go. Hi, baby girl. Um, you may... I may have a cat on my lap. Just a heads up. You may hear her purr. We'll see how she feels. Anyway, I'm rambling. So we're gonna pick up this chest, and then I'm gonna deal with equipment. Um, so... Oh, you got that equipped. Um... You need these two items. And you need that. And then we're going to save. And then we're going to run upstairs. And we're going to deal with the next boss fight. I'm also going to... Alright, we're going to run away from this. I do have some cat emotes there. They're just, you know, replaced with ancient Roman stuff. Oh, and I, and I have angry kitty emote. Alright, so let me do a quick heal. Because I need Baku to full. Alright, we're good. Alright, let's go upstairs. Alright, so. There is the evil demon. Baku is going to flex his muscles. Look at those dumpling muscles. And we're gonna have a fight. Now, I don't think we have a second turn for this fight. I may, but the big thing is you just attack for the win. Oh good, Baku survived. <laughs> so, there's a reason why I bought that particular axe for Baku. One, it increases his attack. Two, it's called the Sleepy Axe. So what does the Sleepy Axe do? Well, it puts enemies to sleep. Um, so this character, this enemy is now 100% asleep and will stay that way until the end of combat. The game doesn't tell you, but the Sleepy Axe is 100% guaranteed to put any enemy to sleep, including bosses. Um, so yeah. Baku is the true MVP. Basically, we use the Sleepy Axe throughout the run um, in conjunction with his ultimate weapon. Um, and yeah, we just put a lot of bosses to sleep and 
we just let, roll with it. They, they didn't, yeah, they didn't balance it out. They definitely did not think to put bosses immune to sleep. Um, so yeah, we're we're just gonna run with it, and it saves a lot of um, sanity, I guess. Because there's one particular fight later on in the run. It's near the end, and it's such a terrible fight that the sleepy axe is just worth it. And yes, there is a sleepy spell, um, or a sleep spell, pardon. I can cast it, but I would say it's about a 50-60% chance of it actually working on enemies. Um, the sleepy axe is 100, so you're better off doing using the sleepy axe with the sleep spell if you need to in a pickle. But anywho, um, so we saved Serena. She has joined our party. But we need to go to the castle, because something fishy is happening. And I'm just going to point out, keep an eye on this castle. You know, the layout, the design, just keep it in the back of your mind. I'm just saying this. Just just for later on, um, how are we? We're pretty much good. I'm going to do a quick safety save. Yeah, it, it, it destroys the <laughs> the game. I accidentally stumbled on it when I was routing this game. Um, so we're going to talk to this gold knight. He's evil. Let's just put it that way. Evil gold knight. <laughs> ah, I did not think of that pun. You chopped it down. Oh my goodness. Oh, there goes Kai. Bye, Kai. That's okay. The biggest thing is Baku surviving, because now he's asleep. So we're fine. We just attack normally. We're perfectly fine. Yeah. Mmm, bagels. Oh my goodness, toast. Yes, toast is higher tier than bagel. I'm sorry, guys. Anywho, we fought the Gold Knight. Oh my goodness. We did it. But we got, we got some drama. Oh my goodness, we got drama. Alright, so something traumatic happened. Oh my goodness. Serena's dad just died. Oh my goodness. Oh, rip. Serena's dad. And we need to mourn. So we're just gonna run over to this room here. And, you know, when we get in this room, Kai's gonna be like, it looks familiar. Oh my goodness, it looks familiar. Also, look at the mirror. The mirror has more bookshelves. There's a mirror, like a window. Just with more bookshelves. But oh my goodness, he's he's remembering when he was a child. This was the room that he got kidnapped and his mom, you know, yeah. He remembered that. <laughs> Actually, he had a he had a dream about it, but I mean, you know, he remembered. This is the room that he was kidnapped from his mom and his mom is in this room. And he's sad. And Mashira's going to comfort him. You know, some some a little little bit of a you know, intimacy there with the whole... I would... I... We gotta make Kai feel better. I gotta hug him. Anywho. So, more plot. And this is the last time we're gonna have Marcelo in our party. So I'm gonna unequip all of his gear, um, just so I can have it uh, for selling. Because as soon as a party member leaves, you lose that gear. Um, I didn't unequip Farah, so I did lose the elven stick she had, but that's fine. Fine, it doesn't give me a lot of money anyways. <laughs> Tweener, hi. So anywho. We're going to unequip Marcelo 
And also I'm going to toss it out there. This is the last time we're using Kai as well. So let me just unequip Kai. Um, say goodbye to our main character. He's no longer in our party. Um, from here on out, it is going to be Baku, Serena, and Mina. That is our party throughout the rest of the game. So Kai, the main character of the game, has been demoted to just a healer class. You know, just the background healer. Along with Mashira. So. Also say, say goodbye to Marcelo. Mercutio. Macaron. He is going to guard the barracks. And continue with his job. Rebuild the barracks while he's at it. And we're just going to go back to the castle. It's just more plot dump. Um, it's been discovered that there is a great evil, you know, running in the background, causing all this. Of course. Of course. You know, of course. Um, they do mention the name of the great evil. I don't know what it's called, so I'm just going to call him Bill. Bill the great evil. Let's just do that. Um, also, we need to get a ship, because apparently this great evil, Bill, he has obviously a weakness. Um, and that is getting the ultimate weapons from the Guardians, who are roaming the world and have little, you know, shrines designated to them and more plot dump. So that's what we need to do next, is one giant fetch quest. Yep. That's this too. <laughs> yeah, I don't like bills either. All the- all them bills. Hmm. So yeah, this is more plot dump. <laughs> I imagine this is really crucial to the story. Um, but I, I unfortunately don't know, and there is no English patch or translation for this game. It's a, kind of a tragedy. No, there, there has been... A, one YouTube video of someone trying, like, mentioning they were going to work on translating this game after a project, and nothing has happened since. I would love to see an English script or a translation to this game, just so I know what is happening, plot-wise. No! No one spent time translating this. It's really sad. Truly a tragedy. But anywho, we need to go get a boat. So, we're gonna go here. And this is the most, like, cheerful elevator music you were ever gonna hear. Um, so we're gonna talk to people. To advance the plot. We're gonna talk to this guy here. He's gonna mention, you know, this ship here is owned by Baroma. And he's around town, but, you know, you gotta wait for a nightfall to, to really talk to him. So we're gonna kill some time. Um... I'm gonna sell a bunch of items just so we can get some money, uh, just to make it easier later on in the run when I'm dealing with equipment. I will be doing one last equipment check before I switch to disc two, which by the by, we're at the end of disc one, guys. We have made it to disc two, so let me do a quick check here. 35, yeah, I need that, right? No, that one's better. Um, and then I think that's better. Okay. Serena, you need your gear. And you need a weapon. Okay, and then Baku, you're much pretty much good to go. Okay, and the rest I can sell. Sorry, I used to have a sheet showing me what I need to equip. It's somewhere in a box. Um, yeah. 